good afternoon friends this is hitesh from anukel kas pathan academy so today i am back with some another problem statement which is asked in <coughs> read code okay which is a pascal statement so as the name of this problem statement is primary department for each employee okay so the table definition is given to you there are the three fields employee id which is of integer type department id which is of integer type primary field which is of character sorry primary flag which is of character type that is a var char so here two ids which are primary in nature so what is primary they are for initially they are not null they are always accept value and they are unique one okay no duplicacy is acceptable there okay so these two values this two values in this fields are primary key okay so employee id is the basically id of the employee as the name of the field suggest department id is the id of the department to which that employee belongs to so employee which is belonging which is working under which department is department have their unique id that is a department id okay and the primary flag that is a name of the column which is of enumerator enumeration type which will categorize the type of the employee whether they are belongs to that department or not if they are belongs to that department that will be given as a y and if they are not belongs to that uh, department id that is not primary so it will return as n okay so uh, employees can belongs to yeah may, some of the employees they may be belongs to the multiple em- departments therefore they are not primary where the employees joins other department they need to decide whether their department is primary department or not and note that when the employee belongs to one department that means they are primary column so that primary column will be uh, given as n if the employee belongs to the multiple department that then their primary column is y okay so we have to write the query to report all those employee with their primary department and whenever we are saying primary department that means that employee is not belongs to more than one department okay so that will be given as n and for those employee who belongs to one department which were designated uh, which were given to show as the enumeration enumeration type of uh, value that is n so who belongs to one department report they are only one department so we have to write the query on that and return the result table in the any order so no order is uh, compulsory and the example of the table is given to you basically there are the three column as the name of the employee table first column is employee id second is department id third is a primary field so the employee id 1 which is belongs to only one department so that will be given as n so employee id 1 it is it belongs to only one id only one department employee id 2 it belongs to more than one department so their primary flag is y so likewise all the data of the employee according to respect to employee ids are given to you and we have to fetch this output so we have to basically fetch those employee id those who are belongs to only <coughs> primary departments okay so we have to write the query for that so basically that means prime the primary department for employee 1 is 1 the primary department for employee 2 is 1 primary department of employee 3 is 3 they not belongs to more than one departments okay so for that we have to write the query so basically uh, when we we'll reach to the conclusion so basically we have to deal with the sub query in this problem statement so what is sub query so basically sub query is the query is embedded within another query that is a sub query okay so one query as a whatever value whatever data we will get that output of that data will be assumed to the input of the another query that is outer query so basically this is a sub query okay so right we will uh, begin to write the query for that so first of all we will write the select keyword 
so what we want from the table so from the table we want uh, employee id and department id from table what is the name of table here uh, so name of table i think so yeah employee so we want only those uh, employee those who are belong to single department so for that we will use where clause okay and we 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 are trying to apply the condition based on two column because we want the output on based of two columns so first we will deal with the employee id and we will get the employee id according to the uh, primary flag whether they belongs to sing, single department or more than one department so that is a primary flag so till now we will get the two values according to two con values we will use where clause that is a condition and according to this two condition we will get the respective employee ids and their department ids so from here we were trying to pass this query to the another query actually this is a sub query so we will write in clause in clause we will get the condition which will check whether the outer query has those value or not if it is those value then it will pass to the in a uh, outer query inner inner query that those value consist or not so for that we will write sub query again here so so we want from the inner query as a employee id and we want the uh, maximum value of the primary flag so for that we will apply aggregate function that is max as you all know so we will apply uh, maximum on primary flag which will be alias given as the output as a primary flag okay we will get this value from which table employee and we have to group we have to group all those uh, department id to sing um, specific employee id so for that we will uh, write group by statement group by employee id so we have till now we have written the query now let's see whether it will correctly run or not see whether we will get a uh, correct answer or not Yeah, we will getting the unique department IDs which are belong to each employee and those employee which are not working on another department so collectively we will get the expected output okay so this is one of the simple problem statement so one thing you have to remember first uh, try to figure out what are the expected out what are the expected columns we are needed 
to get the expected output then go through the problem statement at least twice so you can get the clear cut idea what is the problem statement and what are the concept we are using in this statement okay so basically in this uh, problem statement we are using sub query okay so this is outer query okay from this outer query we were trying to figure out the employment id and the prime uh, their primary flag that is a whether they are working on seeing uh, multiple departments or not which were given by the de shown by the y or n that is a y yes and n means no okay so if the n is means that means that employee id is not working on more than one department okay and where the primary flag is given as y that means that respective employee id is working on more than one department okay so for that we were apply here this uh, max function from the outer query we will get the two values that is employment id and primary flag so more than one condition is there more than one value is there for that we will use in clause okay and these two values will become now condition for the outer query that is employment id and primary flag so from here we will get the employment id in primary flag we will given the condition whatever uh, output will get the outer query that is the input for the first query that that whatever output we will get from the inner query that is the input from the uh, outer query and according to that outer query we will get the respective employee ids and department ids okay so i don't think so you will get any Uh, doubts in that or any confusion in that but still if you have any doubts regarding this question so please comment us okay so i think it is one of the easiest question so you can practice it okay thank you have a nice day